What is up, Madden Nation? It's your boy Sneak coming at you with another video. And today, I you know I usually give you guys highlights throughout my weekend league and stuff, but today we're gonna go over some of the plays that really had me irritated, not understanding how Madden works, and just frustrating moments. And this is the kind of the clip that inspired the inspired the whole thing. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let me know. So this clip, he's running under. I'm running under center. I'm trying to go for a deep bomb here. He's been blitzing a lot, and he's running. He's uh, usering Ronnie Lott at the safety position. So I'm trying to make him, as a user, pick which way to go. So I'm running the play. I put B on a streak, or B in a fade, A on a streak, Moss motion Moss over, try to give the B route some room on the cover three. I know he's user controlling Lott. So an RB, I put on the corner out. So that's going to freeze up the corner and the cover three, hopefully, just enough. As we see, I have X. I'm gonna have X wide open for if I wanted a completion. I have he's covering B at the moment, so obviously I'm gonna throw the ball to Darren Waller. 99 overall, chemed up. Um, 99 plus catching, 98 speed, 66 streak specialist. Mad. So let's see what happens here. Wide open, wide open. This should be an easy touchdown. I should be, I should be high stepping right now, right when I catch it. Oh, wait. Catch it? Look at this. Boom, boom. Okay. Like, this is, shouldn't happen. This is dropped in easy, easy points. As you see, the game would have been tied 14-14. So, later on during that game, next clip, um, he's bringing that bunch pick, whatever, the, out the 3-4 uh, odd. I know it's coming. So, I do a drag. Boom. Look at look at Josh Allen. One more time. Okay, see that? He throws it in the back of my lineman's fucking right there. 71. No one even close. The B route, the B route's wide open right here. I have at least the first down, possibly. No one around me. I mean, it says no pressure. It doesn't say a pressure, whatever. So, look, B, and look, well, I should be, Ronnie Lott's coming this way, so I should be able to run upfield, at least for a first down. I'm not asking for two more, I'm not asking for a tutty here. Just a first down. And it goes right in the back of my lineman's leg. Whatever. Next play. So, it's before half, I have bow, 99 speed, 99 excel. This is a golden ticket bow. This is what I use my free golden ticket pick on. My man's Nat. So obviously I'm just not trying to get safety here. Four seconds left. I don't expect anything big. This dude, I have a nice little path, good blocking. There's potential for seven here. And look, this dude's user, his pursuit angles is trash. Look how far back he is. Look how far back he is. And what's up with the speed boost? Look at that speed boost. He's like five yards behind me. Gets a little speed boost. And I would only have to have Erlacher to juke out. And obviously I get hawked. So that's, I mean, that could have been 14, 7 14 right there. And then this play happens at the beginning of the half. He, um, so he's been running this all game. I cover the middle, obviously, trying to bait him to throw that. And he has Moss breaking on it. And, you know, this route's been kind of hard to stop all year. But I, I'm in good position. I got Byron Jones and Ronnie Lott. This should be an easy, at least, deflection, if not pick. They messed up. I wanted to get on Ronnie Lott. Or not Ronnie Lott. I wanted to get on Byron Jones. That didn't happen. Now, as you see, Ronnie Lott's coming for the pursuit. I get destroyed. Double coverage. Like, it was, it was irritating. Look at that. And then he just shrugs them off. No no reason. Like, what's the point of having abilities on my man? This play. Uh, nothing crazy about this one. It just frustrates me. I still won this game. The last game I lost, and the game before that I lost. This game I won. He scrambles out with Cam Newton. And I know what he's trying to do. I was hoping they let me uh, switch on to Ronnie Lott. Because I would have been able to snag this easy. But I'm on, they, they put me on Nomni. Still, I should be able to swat this. No ability, Jerry Rice. My Jerry Rice don't be making plays like this. But he's essentially double covered right here. 
My man goes to swat it, as you see. Ronnie Lott, I don't know what he's doing, and nothing. He catches it, which was a huge play, but, you know, it's whatever. The dude was trash. Uh, this play. So I flip the play. I come out on the stretch. He's on the one side, so I switch it. And right here, this should be a touchdown. Uh, Shazir can have 98 speed, 99 speed on theme teams, whatever, I don't know. But acceleration is only like a 95. So not only did this man come off the block right here, boom, I should be gone. 99, 99, 99 with Bo. I should be in the tut in the end zone right now. And I get hawked. Like, there's no reason for this. Oh, and then this play. Continue on from this game. Boy, did I have a fun weekend league. Um, so he hikes it. I know what he's trying to do. Scramble right. I bait that. And then I come back. Because I know he's been baiting me all game with that route. I've been letting it happen. And I thought this was the perfect time to snag it. Did I think it was the perfect time to snag it? Right over Whitehead's head. Like, this is stupid. I should be able to snag this ball every time. I don't care if I'm a linebacker, lurker, or not. That's mine. And then he bounces off a night train enforcer hit. Okay, EA. Um, but that's it. I don't have that many videos today. I didn't think I was going to do a video like this. I just thought it'd be cool, a little different. But there's a couple videos that had me head scratching and a little, a little upset. But if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at Need for Sneed 101. And have a blessed day.